Blue Willebeus is one of the Bounders' favorite species to hunt due to their availability, their character and affordability. Rand per kilo, a Blue Willebeus is probably the best value for money, especially for the Boltong hunter. They are known to be very, very tough and probably one of the species that gets wounded the most out of all of the larger game species. The bulls are weighing between 180 to 250 kilograms, while the lighter females between 140 and 200 kilograms. They were initially known as plains game living on the plains of Africa, but have ever since become well adapted to the bushveld and most other parts of Africa. Blue villabeers are herd animals, with one or more dominant bulls leading the herd, there are also a few herds consisting of younger and older bulls that have been kicked out by dominant bulls. And then there are lone bulls, and those are the ones that get the Bahante excited. Now when it comes to equipment for blue villabeers, there's many speculations and opinions about what works and what doesn't work, because villabeers are so tough, but a heavier 400 to 500 grain arrow with a good mechanical or fixed blade broadhead will work perfect as long as the shot, shot placement is correct can be used with the same results as most fixed blades. The difference between a blue villabeus bull and a cow can be a little confusing especially if there's younger bulls in the same herd with all the cows but bulls usually have thicker horns, thicker at the base as well, more muscular larger bodies with thicker necks compared to the cows with their smaller horns, thinner necks and smaller in body size. Now our pro tip on Willebeus for this DVD is the standing position sometimes of a Willebeus. It can be very deceptive because they can stand with a back leg scorching away, the back part of their body scorching away and then turn their front part looking back at you in such a way that it looks scorching away but we have to aim on the shoulder that part is actually scorching too or sometimes broadside. So note on this picture the back legs and the back part of the body is quartering away as the front part is bent in such a way that it's actually quartering toward. So just be very careful when you shoot at a blue villabea standing in that certain angle of position that you don't make a mistake with your shot placement. Shot placement on blue villabea is very very important. Like most other species right up the front leg one third from the bottom Make sure you don't shoot too high. The biggest mistake bounders make with blue villabeers is shots that goes too high and too far back because of their built big hump on the shoulder and their vitals actually sits quite far forward and quite low. A shot right on the shoulder, one third from the bottom in a broadside position will ensure you a top of the heart double lung shot and this also leaves you most room for error. Up you'll have a couple of inches, downward a couple of inches and left and right as well. The shot in this Blue Villabeus bull is very, very good. Definitely a double lung shot. For the perfect shot, we could have gone about two inches lower with that entry. Blue Villabeus can make it a bit difficult sometimes for shot placement because they, they're such dark animals and one colored skin animals, especially if you have to shoot for the shading side of a Villabeus. What you can do is draw a line between the elbow and the shoulder joint and then go up in the middle of that line about two or three inches and that will give you a very good top of the heart double long shot. The shot on this blue villabeus cow was a good height, just too far back. The villabeus was recovered about three hours later though. And I think the main reason for the shot not as good was because of the shading side of the villabeers. There was a one color target, no references, so it was very difficult. So be careful, keep that arrow tucked in tight to the shoulder. A blue villabeers this size gives many a hunter the fever. The shot on this one looks a bit far forward, but hit both of the lungs on the front part as well as the front of the heart. Very good shot, we'll give it an 8 out of 10. 
the perfect shot could have gone about three inches back. Shot on this blue Villabes cow, absolutely perfect. One third from the bottom, on the shoulder, top of the heart, double long shot. Very, very good. For a first time bow hunter, this was a very, very good shot. It looks a bit far forward. But on that angle, the arrow went in just behind the shoulder joint. Got the front of the lungs, as well as the front of the heart. Very, very good. Blue beers didn't go far. The shot on this old blue villa is not too bad. Mid body in the crease, you'll definitely hit lungs there, but just be careful to shoot too high and too far back. Good double lung shot by this hunter from an elevated blind. Be careful you don't shoot too high because hunters tend to shoot or aim a bit higher from elevated blinds because Willabies has got such a big, large shoulder area. So it's very easy to aim mid-body and then enter a bit too high and hit the shoulder blade. These two young blue Willabies bulls are a good example of bulls that's been kicked out by a dominant bull. The shot on this one wasn't too bad. It was in the crease, mid-body. On this angle, definitely hit lungs, but be very careful. You don't shoot too far back in a Willabies. Don't put the arrow behind the crease, then it becomes very risky. Blue Willabies in a herd are always on the move and moving around. So you gotta be very careful when shooting at one. There's no other one walking in behind the one you're aiming at. This hunter did very well with his shot. He shot a double lung shot, but very, very high risk. And there's always a chance of wounding another animal. The shot on this big blue Willabies bull looks very good initially but it's just too low and too far back missed the heart missed the lungs and it had to be taken a second time with bow and arrow <laughs> <laughs> 